All right, boys, today is going to be more of a discussion video. So I want to get you guys opinions and comments down below. So make sure you go ahead and do that as you watch the video. Hear what I have to say. Just comment whatever you like and whatever you please. I want to give a shout out to the Patreon members for supporting the channel. You guys are the absolute best. Thank you guys as always for supporting. Uh, thank you guys for everyone that's watching. Hopefully everyone has a great weekend. Uh, it's going to be a fun weekend for me as well. Uh, and let's see how it all goes. Thank you guys for the support. As always, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Instagram if you are not already. Now, what are we talking about today? We're going to talk about NASCAR gaming, uh, specifically on the console side. And we are going to have some fantasy situation uh you know just have a discussion just talk see what happens um and and give give our opinions to each other so essentially what i'm talking about is we're you know motorsport games as we know have not released uh, uh really a main game since nascar 21 ignition i do not count nascar rivals because nascar rivals is on the nintendo switch and you know it has its own job there like it the, like the rivals game on the switch does its own thing um today we're talking about like the the main uh games indycar nascar all that stuff and um what you guys would want in in the future so there's been a lot of um you know speculation around motorsport games uh with the articles and the rumors and everything like that i'm not really going to touch too much into that today uh we just you know kind of wait for that all that all that stuff but essentially, what do you guys want when it comes to NASCAR gaming? And I'll give you the, the scenario, essentially. Remember, there is a contract, a licensing agreement, contract exclusive licensing for the NASCAR games until the year 20... I have Sky's hair in my beard. Eh, until the year 2029, okay? So until the year 2029, there is an exclusive licensing agreement with NASCAR and Motorsport Games. That is exclusive licensing. Now, that is the same with IndyCar. Now, I don't know what year that is, too, but I don't think it's until 2029 or whatever. But essentially, IndyCar and Motorsport Games have an exclusive licensing agreement. So they can only, you know, Motorsport Games are the only ones that can make simulation-based um, racing games when it comes to IndyCar and NASCAR and use the drivers and use the series and use all that stuff, right? Unfortunately, that is the way business works especially in sports you know racing games especially when it comes to indycar and nascar is are technically sports and so you see ea do it with madden you see uh 2k do it as well but they do it in different ways like in the golf industry they have an exclusive agreement with tiger woods so that tiger woods can't be in the ea game and ea have exclusive agreements with augusta and the masters and all the major championships so all those major championships can't be in the 2k game and this is how it works this is competition it's unfortunate because for the consumer, we kind of get screwed, right? You would want to play the Masters in the 2K golf game and in the EA golf game, but you can't. You'd want to play as Tiger Woods in both games, but you can't. You unfortunately, you know, to, to in order to generate profit, in order to force us, the consumer, into purchasing what we want to purchase, you have to limit our options. That's just, that's what they do until there's more legality things and taking stuff to the courts and why the government want to get involved both in the US and in the UK and in Europe if the government want to get involved into banning exclusive licensing agreements I don't think that will ever happen so this is just the way the world works it depends on the business and the company and you know how much money you want to spend and uh, in terms of doing that and thinking you get a return on it so this leads to motorsport games in terms of their exclusive licensing agreement we know that motorsport games currently they've, they've been burning through a lot of cash right so there's not a lot of cash on hand they're currently still looking for more investors they have investors for 2023 but i think they want more they want more uh to to you know make the games that they need to make they burn through a lot of cash on a daily basis there's not really any profit coming in motorsport games doesn't have a game that includes microtransactions and actually thank god that that doesn't exist but you know without those microtransactions without the game being good then you're not generating a lot of profit and you have to pay for these licensing agreements and you have to pay for all this stuff and so where is the money coming from so what do you guys want i'm going to offer some um hypotheticals to you so the, the first hypothetical that a lot of people that are not very well informed in terms of the gaming industry is say uh give the nascar license like let motorsport games fold right and then give the nascar license to ea so like motorsport games runs out of money they have to give up the exclusive licensing agreement and uh then nascar which to be fair to nascar i don't think they would want multiple nascar games they would actually want an exclusive licensing agreement with someone else that's what they would want um because nascar gets paid a lot of money from motorsport games to get that so as you guys see it's not just the gaming industry it's also the sports as well the nfl is plenty happy enough to receive the ridiculous amount of money that they get from ea sports 
to only have EA Sports make their game. Now, if they'd have four other companies make their game, yeah, they might get a lot more recognition, but they won't get, according to their calculations, they will not get as much money. And that just is the way of the world and the way of business, guys. Everything matters about this. I just lost the player I wanted to my football club because of money. Because Chelsea and stupid-ass Todd Bowley decided to just drop in and just flame more, more money. Everything is about money. The reason why I can do full-time YouTube is because of money. And the reason why I'm struggling right now is because of money. Like, everything's about money. It's just that's that's unfortunately the way of the world. It's, it's pretty stupid, right? But that's just how it is. You don't want NASCAR going back to EA. You just don't. I mean, they <laughs> unless there's some major changes in leadership and EA just have a completely different track record over the last fit like uh, over the next 10 years for, uh, and not the last 15 years you don't want them going to EA they'll put NASCAR points pit stall points make you buy furniture and make you spend hundred and fifty dollars on a NASCAR game with a legendary edition that costs hundred and twenty dollars and you get five thousand points to build out your ultimate team card that includes Daryl Waltrip and Dale Earnhardt and Jeff Gordon like th this stuff you just no and then the game is just not gonna be good anyways and that's just what EA do they've not they don't make uh, good games and I think that's never going to happen because EA don't want the NASCAR license there's no value to them for it they have Formula One that's what they want and so that's their like um, way back into racing and they have Codemasters developing those games. EA will not make Codemasters develop a NASCAR game because NASCAR does not bring any value to EA. So that's not going to happen. This leads me into my more likely situation. And I think there's, there's, there's a few different scenarios, right? There's one scenario where Motorsport Games just makes the games and Motorsport Games continues to be the publisher and Motorsport Games continues to have their own developers and they just make the games, right? We have to wait and see what happens. That's currently the situation we are in right now. The current situation right now is is that. So, you know, Motorsport Games will make the games. The one situation that I think is actually not as far-fetched as I thought it could have been. Like, a year ago, I never thought this would happen. But now, with Motorsport Games looking for money, I actually do think it might happen. And in, 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 if, if the stars align and some things happen then I could see it as a possibility. And this possibility is actually Motorsport Games is bought out. And they're bought out by one of the bigger boys, Activision, EA, iRacing, maybe. That last one is we'll, we'll talk about a little bit later. But EA, Activision, 2K, the big boys, right? If they want to get um, a NASCAR game, but they don't want to start from the ground up, all they'll do is just say, be like, hey, Motorsport Games, you need money. Huh, you have the Le Mans series, you have the Le Mans licensing agreement, you have the IndyCar licensing agreement, you have the NASCAR licensing agreement, okay, but you're going down. You don't have a lot of, okay, alright, we'll buy you. And you could just, you know, publish the games under our name. That's essentially, that, that could very well happen. That could very well happen. Motorsport Games then gets put into, like, Activision's umbrella of things and or motorsport games goes into ea's umbrella things or 2k is like hey we want to get into racing and 2k comes in and they take motorsport games and essentially what happens is motorsport games nothing changes there they still make the games the developers are still the same the publishers are still the same the licensing is still the same everything's still the same the offices are still the same but they are under a br uh, even bigger umbrella that is 2k now, I thought they were already under a big umbrella, which is Motorsport Network, but it's very clear that Motorsport Games is looking for money. So, could that possibility happen? Is that something that you guys would want? Essentially, they just get a lot more money, and 2K sits in the background, and they're just like, okay, we want this, and we want this, and we want this. And they just have to listen to them, because it's like the new head honcho, the new, the new big boy in town, the new company. So, uh, that could also happen with EA. I just don't think that will. Because EA doesn't really do that. It would be the same situation with Codemasters uh, that EA did where EA buys Codemasters. Hence, they get the F1 games, but they don't really, you know, they, they try to make you buy furniture. They're like, EA, definitely go to Codemasters and say, hey, put furniture in the game. Put all this in the game. We need to make more money. Yeah, yeah more money, right? EA definitely does that. But the actual making of the game, EA just kind of doesn't really play a part in it. They just tell Codemasters what to do, and Codemasters has to do it. That would be the same situation in Motorsport Games, because right now, Motorsport Games don't, you know, that's their own thing. They are the publisher, but if they were, if they were in desperate need of money, then they would, you know, someone would buy them out if they saw value in that at a low price or a cheap cost, and then they would just have to be told what to do from 2K, Activision, or EA. Is that something you guys would want? 
how would that go? It'd be really interesting to say the least. The uh, the other option in that is iRacing. And so the reason why I don't think this is possible, but it would be so, so fascinating. iRacing and motorsport games clearly do not have a good relationship. Obviously, you know, you guys know that. iRacing just lost the IndyCar licensing to motorsport games. So they don't like each other. It's very clear. iRacing, uh, you know, brought monster games into the fold. So they, they basically purchased monster games and they're making the World of Outlaw games and the Dirt games and stuff like that. I believe in iRacing's like dream scenario is that something really bad happens to motorsport games and the licensing falls out and it just is there to be picked up, right? And so then iRacing will take it over and they use monster games and they hire more people and then they create NASCAR on the iRacing side, which they already have and they do very well there. And then they have NASCAR on the console side with whoever that would be. That would be, I think, their dream scenario. The other scenario actually is Motorsport Games. Again, this all has to do with Motorsport Games needing money. If they don't need money and they're actually fine, then these scenarios don't happen. But from investor calls and everything, it seems like Motorsport Games is looking for investors. And so iRacing would come in actually as an investor. They'd just be like, hey boys, you know, we don't have a good relationship, but we're gonna invest and we're gonna, you know, you're gonna come to us. That could happen. It could be like that, you know, like, uh, an ego move, right, from, from iRacing. They could do it if they wanted to. I'm not entirely sure how much, uh, you know, financial power iRacing has um, in terms of, like, how much they make and how much they have to spend and what they can do. I'm not entirely sure. But if they wanted to, they can then, you know, kind of invest in motorsport games in a way, but they would have the control, and then that, in turn, would give them the NASCAR licensing, right? So that would be the other way they can do it. Would motorsport games ever do that? I don't know. It, it, the only way that happens is they would have to literally, like, just... They would have no other option. And so, that could happen. Is that something you guys would want? Now, that that, that situation's so unlikely, because I just... I, I could never envision iRacing and motorsport games working together. I think there's too much bad blood there. I think, you know, motorsport games taking the exclusive licensing and trying to gather up all, gather up all these exclusive licenses has really pissed off a lot of the other sim racing communities, including iRacing. And so, I don't think that would ever happen but it's possible just like how you know that that that's more like a five to ten percent chance and actually the 2k ea activision you know one of those really big publishers come in and want to buy motorsport games and and purchase them bring them under the umbrella that could be like a 20 percent chance and then actually motorsport games continuing as they do would be like a 60 or 70 percent chance because that currently still is the likely outcome but they would need investors and so the way that 20 percent chance and that 10 percent chance with iRacing and all that stuff the way that happens is motorsport games have to run out of money that's essentially what has to happen so will that happen we don't know um the exclusive licensing agreements i think they're bound to that i don't know if they can get out of it i mean that could be a situation that motorsport games goes to so they they, they release the licensing agreement and you know, then anyone can make their games, and then Motorsport Games has to make a NASCAR game, but they don't have exclusive licensing. So then iRacing can make a NASCAR game and compete with them on the console side. But then NASCAR wouldn't like that because NASCAR is not getting the money. So NASCAR wants the exclusive licensing agreement because NASCAR wants the money. You see how complicated this whole situation is? That's where the NASCAR gaming industry and, you know, uh, what's the word? Landscape. The NASCAR gaming landscape is in. It's in this very limbo state where it's like, okay, this is the situation, but it's very clear the situation is is in limbo like it's not 100 percent concrete no one is very comfortable with it so then what is going to happen in the future in the short term this is what i want i want the damn indycar game and i want the damn nascar game to release and to be good that's what i want in the short term in the long term i want stability so i don't know who owns the nascar licensing games i don't know who makes the games and what's going on i want stability i want yearly releases for a nascar game and stability like that's that's what I want. Now, wh whether we can actually get to that point, we have to wait and see. I usually, like I said, I usually I'm glass half full, but at the moment, I'm not really looking at it as glass half full. I'm looking at it as I'm pretty sure that IndyCar game is gonna come out, but is that NASCAR game gonna come out? I I don't think so. I I'm really starting to doubt that. And if we don't get a NASCAR game in 2023, I'm just gonna be, I'm just really pissed off and uh, I'm really frustrated. So. We'll see how it goes. So in the comments down below, I gave you guys a lot of options and a lot of scenarios and a lot of like hypothetical situations, right? And so what ideally would you want? Would you just want 
a miracle to happen and Motorsport Games somehow turns this crap around and they start making great games and they actually become a good company. Is that possible? With the last two, three years, it, the proof really isn't there. Would you want then a bigger company that wouldn't really focus on NASCAR as much to then buy Motorsport Games and bring them under the umbrella but give them the money that they need in order to make the games? So Motorsport Games still makes the game, the developers still make the game, but they have a lot more resources, essentially, to make the games. They can hire more people, they can uh, work faster on the games and stuff like that, and release the games. Uh, but it would be under the EA, 2K, Activision, one of those big boys, it would be under that umbrella. So then, the games would have microtransactions, pit coins, ultimate team of some sort, right? So, so they would, they, the games would have mobile-esque modes or casino-esque modes in order to generate more money out of you so their focus really wouldn't be the actual game it would be how do you make money that would be the situation if you go if you fall under one of those umbrellas or do you want the situations with iRacing which would include either iRacing um like something really bad happening to motorsport games to where the exclusive licensing agreement falls out and then it's very common sense that it would have to go to iRacing if iRacing puts in a bid for it. Or would you want iRacing to do the unthinkable and go to Motorsport Games and be like, hey, we will like purchase you or buy you out or invest in you. And then we bring in the Le Mans, uh, we bring in the Le Mans uh, licensing. We bring in our factor to move it onto our platform or something. We bring in the NASCAR licensing agreement. We bring in the IndyCar licensing agreement. I don't know how much all that would cost and if iRacing would even be able to do it, but would you want that situation where iRacing basically purchases out Motorsport Games and then they control all the licensing stuff? Yeah, I think that's the most that's the least likely situation, but what do you guys want? What do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. That is the discussion video for today. We all kind of just wait and see. And I don't like waiting and seeing anymore. I'm impatient. I want stability i do not want uh limbo and unpredictability to say the least if a nascar game is supposed to come out in mid 2023 i want a nascar game to come out in mid 2023 i do not want more delays i do not want till 2024 i'm tired of that nonsense the last game was nascar 21 ignition it sucked there was no game in 2022 i do not want to have no game in 2023 the patience is wearing thin. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Take care of yourselves. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.